Universal has made a dramatic change, and more of this change is coming. Hey, what's going on everybody? Rick here at Universal's Islands of Adventure to give you some updates and show you what's new in addition to that major change. The quickest way to get to that major change is to go clockwise through the park. But you know, I like to go counterclockwise, so we'll go this way to start. But before we head to Seuss Landing, I would like to show you the screen is now turned on for the new wait time signboard. Not showing the wait times just yet, but they do have the Islands of Adventure logo on it. For the actual wait times, they are still using this little temporary portable wait time sign. Okay, into Seuss Landing, which one day the change I'm going to tell you about later on in this video will probably affect some things in Seuss Landing and in fact probably affect all of Universal theme parks. Over here at Cat in the Hat, we're still waiting on this teapot to spurt water again down into this little pool area. They still have the fencing up over here by this tree, but I think, I think they're still doing some concrete work. We've got some lines kind of etched into the concrete there. So maybe that's why the fencing's up. Only a 10 minute wait for the high in the sky trolley as most kids are done with spring break, but not all. I just met a family from the Boston area that are on spring break right now. They go to a public school and I have to say, they have the perfect timing for spring break when it comes to theme park crowds. Because the crowd levels are extremely low right now this time of year. It's a miracle. The Mythos waterfalls are working again. The water is falling beautifully. They must have called Frank Gay. If you live in the area, then you know the radio commercials for Frank Gay Plumbing. I'm not going to show you a lot of merchandise today because I just did a whole merchandise video. Link to that in the description box. I just want to point out, since this is the 25th anniversary of Islands of Adventure, they have the t-shirt. But do you know the actual date is May 28th? So they have that merchandise out way in advance of the actual anniversary date. One more thing about merchandise though. I know this is not Zelda's sword. I was just kind of being funny, trying to be funny because of all the rumors of Zelda. I thought I would call this Zelda sword. I know it's not. I lied to you. One final piece of merchandise talk. The HHN t-shirt that was first offered in just orange. You guys have shamed Universal into offering a black version of the t-shirt. It is here and it is $33. Okay, now I promise you, between yesterday's buy this, buy that video, and what I just did right now, I've got the merchandise talk out of my system. But if you haven't seen that buy this or maybe that video, go check it out. 100% merchandise. The construction walls that were once around Dogweed and Death Cap have been removed. But the ones around the Howler remain. And I think there used to be construction walls here that have now been removed. This magical wand spot by Tomes and Scrolls, this one right here, they just have a hard time keeping it working. It's like never ever working. I think the reason for that is the way the sun hits the sensor. It's very, very bright there. During yesterday's Magical Morning live stream, the wait time for Hagrid's was 70 minutes. Right now, almost the same. It's just five minutes longer, 75 minutes. But I just got done talking to the Potter Collector. He said it was more like a 45 minute wait. He just got off the ride. We missed the performance, but they are doing photos right now for the Tri-Wizard Tournament. I have to show you the castle. And since I'm doing this, I might as well tell you the wait time for the Forbidden Journey is 25 minutes. Welcome to Jurassic Park. And for the second day in a row, no music at the entrance. 
and it looks like we have just two flames going today. Yesterday, this was a 45 minute wait, but right now, it's a 60 minute wait. And when you visit, most likely, a different wait time than what I've told you the past two days. Whatever the wait time, ride it. It's super fun. I shouldn't have to say this, but I just witnessed an adult hop over the rope and stand up on the Jeep there for a picture. Guys, respect the ropes, especially adults. Come on, be better. And speaking of being better, just the other day there was a video posted on social media of a kid climbing to the very top of the Skull Island sign. Don't know where the parents were or the older siblings, but that shouldn't happen. Next thing you know, Universal is going to be putting a fence around this thing. We all have to do better and be better. Don't make me have to parent. I don't like sounding like a dad. Unless it's a dad joke. In Tatoon Lagoon, the site of our major change that Universal has implemented. I didn't show you over there in Jurassic Park, but the Jurassic Park River Adventure is delayed, but Ripsaw Falls is running. This ride will get you a little more wet anyway. Splashdown. And here's your big news, your big change. Blondie's is cashless. It is mobile order only. They don't even turn on the cash register anymore. No one mans the cash register. If you go here and say, oh, well, my phone's not working. Can I go to standby or walk up? They will refer you to a different restaurant. Absolutely nothing but mobile order at Blondie's now. Universal finally got me. The little trick I used to do, oh, my phone is dead, I can't mobile order. Can I walk up? That, that doesn't fly anymore. Doesn't work, oh boy. And this is only the tip of the iceberg as Universal, I'm sure, will be moving more and more things to just mobile order only. However, I mean, it is affecting the sales of Blondie's. A lot of people walk up, they hear it's mobile order, and they just turn around and leave. So. I doubt every restaurant, every quick service restaurant will become mobile order only, but I think a majority over time will become that way. Blondie's has been open for an hour and a half, maybe two hours. They've gotten nine orders. See this little poop deck Pappy's popcorn stand? This is where we're gonna do our quick food review today because they have a new pretzel, no doubtly inspired by Popeye, a spinach pretzel. Let's give it a try. It is $7.49 and to be exact, it's a spinach and feta stuffed pretzel. Hearing that music tells me it's time for Rick's quick food review. Today, the spinach and feta stuffed pretzel. It's pretty good. I know my wife, Nikki, would really, really love it if she wasn't gluten sensitive. And if you're someone who enjoys the flavor of spinach and feta, you would enjoy it too. The way it hits for me, you know how you go to a restaurant and they have the appetizers and they may have like a spinach dip? It kind of hits that way for me. That's why I mainly enjoyed it. So I don't know if I like it more than the pizza stuffed pretzel, but I would have that again. And it's not a bad price at $7.49. It makes for a good snack. Betty Boop, still not kicking. Oh, happy day. We have some new prizes at the Midway Games. The Whack-A-Mole has something new, as does the one in wins. The Whack-A-Mole has Gabby Dollhouse prizes. That's what those are. Well, that's cool. The one in wins, it's Minecraft prizes. That's what we have over here. Now at this one in wins, which is the tougher game, 
because the baskets are higher. If you get three in a row, this could be your prize. A giant SpongeBob banana. Good luck to you all. Okay, one last island to get through. Marvel, I know of at least one update in here. As soon as you enter Marvel from Toon Lagoon, this is now the entrance to Spider-Man because as I told you weeks ago, they would need to put some construction walls up here at the actual entrance to Spider-Man so that they can finish that concrete work that I was showing you. I think when they're done with that little bit of Spider-Man work, they'll be done with all of the concrete work here. Let's give the Hulk some love. It's only a 15 minute wait. You know what? That wait time is too good to pass up. And since I can't take you with me, we're gonna say goodbye right now. Don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Watch this next. It's gonna be a good day, good day. I'm making Nikki show the way. It's gonna be a good day.